Hello, everyone. I'm Wayne. I want to discuss about something that my language, how language affects me, and how language conflicts my life in now, in past, and in future. So, as everyone knows, my mother language is Chinese. When learning Chinese, I don't need to learn, but just listen to what other people said and just、uh, permit. And the performance, like other people suspect, so as time flies by, I become a good Chinese user. But the Chinese has two different types. One is what we speak, and another one is what we do it in exam. Because in exam, we need to some long articles, some difficult problems, and need you need to departure and separate the two, uh, two, four words. We mean. Has relation or as close meanings. So this word is difficult to separate, but、uh, in English we think we don't have such things. Just like some old saying goes, and、uh, what we need to learn about the past and the future, it doesn't has matter because it's hard, easy to find. So my lang- second language is English, of course, because I started learning English from primary school, maybe grade two. Yeah, it's the first my first English teacher really affect affect me out because he often asks us to look some English movies and English songs, which really interested me. And、uh, I'm so excited that English is such a simple than Chinese because it only has twenty six alphabets, but in Chinese you have a lot of alphabets and it's not easy to learn how to pronounce it. Such as pronunciation in English, I think it's more fluently now I can use than Chinese. But I can't forget I'm a Chinese people, so Mandarin. So anyway, it's your mother language, so you can't、uh, forget it and、uh, be sure to remember it and、uh, using it if you are older and back to the mainland is、uh, a memory that you can't、uh, forget and.、Uh, No, don't、uh, uh, ignore. Just ignore this person. He is、uh, just、uh, treating. Okay, treating. And、uh, for example, in English, now I'm maybe a regular user in the Canada, and、uh, sometimes I'm fluently, more fluently than a Canada native speaker. But now I started learning my third language because I think that the, if you learn more languages, it will be. Reasonable for you to walk across the world and be attractive than others in the future. Yes,、yeah, so about the French, I started learning it because Canada, of course, its official language has English and French. When we go to Saint Tower, the Niagara Falls, and when we take bus or go train, it also always has symbol of、uh, two languages. Yeah, English and French. So I started learning French just like、uh, Bonjour. Bonjour, and、uh, Neuf or Merci, just like this kind of simply words, and but is、uh, enough I think to use nowadays because all of my classmates and roommates are using English now,、uh, except my roommates. Yeah, and、uh, about French, I think it's harder than what Chinese and English because it's from、uh, old country and has an old relation, old tradition, so it has. Some may be difficult using usage, and、uh, we can find it more easily maybe a few months later. Yeah, thank you, and that's what I want to talk to you.